This is another photo I took while I was walking round uphill not long back so I'm going to have a bash at this one today. Now I'm going to start as I normally do, I'm just going to wet the paper all over, just clear water using the large height brush. Give it a good soaking so it's at least a couple of minutes before it starts to dry. Now the sky in the photo is a bit, a bit bland so I'll, I'll try and liven it up a bit. I'll start with some raw sienna. Um, then maybe light red and a touch of lemon yellow, sort of orangey colour, and just just lightly go across. Just try and get some variation into it. Then maybe a bit of a bit of blue, ultramarine on its own, clean brush. Just bashing some of the. Uh, More on the other side. This way you can see the sky between the clouds and whatever. You. Maybe finish it off with a bit of yeah, a lizard and clean brush again. Lizard and crimson, Payne's grey, and maybe just stick one or two clouds. Uh, maybe a bit up there. Some big ones up here. And then as they go up into the horizon, obviously they get smaller and smaller as they disappear off into the distance. Some water down the bottom, so I'm just going to get that reflection in before it's too late. Well, well not before it's too late, before I, well, I've still got the colour on the brush. So you can see I've livened it up a little bit there, a lot more colourful, a lot more interesting to look at. <clears throat> this time I haven't put too much water on, so I think I'll get away with it. I haven't got paint all running down the screen, not down the um, paper, so I think it'll be alright. That's a pain, mind you. Little, I keep getting hairs, I don't know whether the brush is just getting old now or what, but I keep getting hairs coming out on the paintings, but never mind. It's at the end of the world. I'm going to go back into a sort of raw sienna clean brush and then I just want to get the distant hills in before the paper dries just so I get that misty effect. I'm just going raw sienna and ultramarine. Uh, where should I put the horizon? So I quite like that light area running down there, so I want to preserve that if we're in the water. So if I just go, and obviously got the clouds there, so I don't, I don't want to go above these clouds for the horizon line. The furthest, if I come down to about here, so it goes up like that. And what I always try and do is not to paint over the same bit of paper more than once unless you've got a specific reason for doing so because otherwise you lose all these little variations and if I keep going over it you, you just end up with the one block tone and it just makes it more looking all interesting like this it just retrains the individual strokes better obviously the sky is different but for these landscape bits, I'll try and keep it just to one, just one stroke if I can. Now I'm looking at the photo again. That's the that's the distant hill. Now as we come close, I'm going to put a bit more yellow into the, uh, bit more yellow into it. 